Welcome back everybody to Let's Play Metal Gear Solid The Twin Snakes. In the last part we got acquainted with everybody and the mission. So now we are here to do it. There's a guard over there so take out my gun. Sleep tight, don't let the bed bugs bite. And here is a ration, I believe. Yep. A surveillance camera. Yeah, a surveillance camera snake. You ever seen one? So yeah, um I'm gonna try my best to do this without any kills. I'm trying to do a no kill run. I'm not gonna promise anything because I I know there's some bosses that can use what the hell is it? That base must have some kind of ventilation system to recirculate the air. There should be air ducts around there somewhere. They must need a lot of power to run the base. There's probably a diesel generator somewhere. And since generating electricity requires oxygen, there must be exhaust openings for that too. You're not going to believe this. But they shot down the F-16s we were using as a diversion, with a Hind D. Then we got a message from Liquid. He said if we try something like that again, he'll launch the nuke. Snake, hurry up and get in there. That Hind will be coming back soon. Oh, snap. Yeah, because I know some bosses are harder than others. So I'm gonna, not going to promise anything. We'll just see how everything goes. Hopefully, I'll be able to do a no-kill run. Snake, this is McDonald Miller. It's been a long time. Master, what are you doing here? I quit being a boot camp instructor, so I moved out here for some peace and quiet. I'm in retirement, just like you. Once in a while, I still help train the Alaskan scouts. Passing on the skills to a new generation, huh? Campbell told me about the situation here. I thought I might be of some use. There's no one I'd rather have in a foxhole than you. Well, I know lots about survival in a harsh environment. I've lived in Alaska longer than you. So call me if you have any questions about the flora or fauna out here. My frequency is 141.80. Alright, I'm never gonna call you, but... Alright. <laughs> Alright, let's, uh, let's keep moving down this ventilation shaft. Let's see where it takes us. I moved the DARPA chief to the cell in the first floor basement. What about the vent shaft cleaning? Oh, they just opened the vent covers. They're about to start spraying for rats. First floor basement ventilation shaft. Shut those covers as soon as they're done spraying. Also, keep your eye on that woman in the cell. Don't get careless now. Woman in the cell? Did something happen? There's an intruder. <clears throat> really? He's already done three people. He's killed three people? Yeah, and they say he's using stealth, too. Stealth? There's an intruder besides me? Anyway. I want you to increase the security detail on the chief. Another intruder? I wonder who it could be. Hmm. Anyway, let's not dwell on that too much and let's move onward and forward. Or forward and onward, whatever you want to say. Whatever whatever floats your boat. You know what I'm saying? Alright, we're coming down to an opening. Let's, let's 
get out of here. What is it? Press the action button to drop down. What a jerk off. Oh my goodness, they call me for every little piece of duh. Use the elevator to change floors. There should be a cargo elevator that you can take down somewhere around there. Try to find it. Alright, now in the original Metal Gear Solid, you would have to go all the way around on the other side. But in this new Metal Gear Solid, the remake, all you gotta do is this. Quite convenient, huh? Oh, that's taking too long. Let's go to the first floor basement. Oh my goodness, they call me for everything. Look at the radar! It's picking up the DARPA chief! He's the green dot! Hurry and rescue him! Well, I guess it makes up for not be not telling you in the first one. Yeah, in the, f in the original Metal Gear Solid, they didn't tell you anything. You have to figure it out on your own. Anyway, let's... Um... There's actually a ration in here. So I'm gonna get this first. Yes, the ruby. You know what? Screw it, I know how to climb up a ladder. How does how is Snake able to turn so fast? There's something down there. Damn cold. I hate Alaska. Boy, oh boy. That woman is built all right. What is that? It's really helpful to pick up that M9 in the beginning, because there's another way you can get the M9, but it's it's kind of it's kind of a little off from now on from now. So it's better to get it early on than to have to wait to get it. So that way you can you don't have to worry about killing enemies by accident. And you can just use this. Alright, I'm gonna stop it right here because the next part contains a really, really long cutscene as Metal Gear Solid is known for. They're really long cutscenes. So I'm gonna stop it right here and I'll see you guys in the next part. Bye bye.